Uh, for more on the government funding bill, what's in it and what's not, let's welcome GOP Senator Mike Braun uh, from Indiana. He's a member of the Appropriations Committee. Are you going to vote uh, for this? And will it, when will it pass, Senator? Well, I'm definitely not going to vote for it. And you got to remember, this is something we should have had done by last September 30th. The fiscal year began for the new year on October 1st. I've been here four years, and we really haven't done any budget work. Uh, Bernie Sanders gavels us in now, and in the last two years, there's been nothing on the mechanics of a budget. This goes way back, uh, probably turn of the century, when we put a couple wars on the credit card. Uh, other side of the aisle, Obama gets there, doubles down on this kind of borrowing from future generations, and now it has evolved into that modern monetary theory, which you referred to earlier. I actually debated Bernie Sanders on the Senate floor for 25 minutes on that seven, eight months ago. Find it if you need to stay awake some night. It has gotten to where uh, this idea of doing nothing to run the biggest business in the world, and you plop a 4,000-page bill in our lap, and now we hear they're going to try to vote on it maybe by tomorrow evening. So complete chaos. Um, and part of how we've gotten here is that unholy alliance. Uh, we call ourselves fiscal conservatives. The Democrats are unapologetic about borrowing and spending. <laughs> and they roll us every year at the last minute because they tempt us to match domestic spending with defense. We fall for it every time you've got this mess. I like the way you said that, that we deny that we're you know, big spenders, but they actually admit it. Right? But you're basically saying that both parties do it. It's just that one party pr pretends Definitely. that they're not. But, uh, <laughs> that's not. Uh, that's not good. So this isn't the first time we pass. We need to pass something to know what's in it, is it, Senator? I, we, that we do that every time. It's another thing that Americans probably don't are not too fond of. In the real world, I was a state legislator for three years. You did regular order. Was on Ways and Means. We bought stakeholders into the discussion early. We didn't guarantee that that particular group was going to get more. A lot of times they got less if it wasn't effective. Here, it's a question of just how much more you're going to up it. And like I say, the dams roll us each year. So the process has been getting, this is the biggest business in the world. Uh, we were running structural trillion dollar deficits when I got here, 18 trillion in debt. We're now 31. I asked a group of reporters the other day, do you know what 1% of 30 trillion is? Of course, that's such a big number, no one could get it out right away. The crowding out effect of interest alone is going to have impact going forward. You saw what Japan did recently. All central banks are going to probably have to get things back to historical norms. You can't keep accommodating this kind of spend and borrow that's going to take us all into a bad place. Now we're the second most indebted economy next to Japan. It can be changed, but I think fiscal policy is a bigger driver than any other variable. Private sector balance sheets are clean. This place is going to lose its relevance if it keeps doing the same thing year after year.